Hey, I'm Natalie Hodson. and I am so excited for this video today. Now, this video is part of a multi-video series that I'm doing for you guys, answering the question that I get literally every single day where people come to me and say, Natalie, you've created this wildly successful online business. How did you do that? And is that something that I could do as well? So if you haven't watched the other videos in the series, go back and watch those first. And today we're gonna tackle, I think, what is one of the most common fears that people have about trying to start their own online business. What I'm gonna show you guys today, I've literally taught this in classes for the last three or four years. I've taught this to tens of thousands of people at this point and this works. And so what we're gonna talk about today is I'm gonna show you what kind of online products that you can create that convert, which means sell, without you having to just sacrifice your time for money anymore. Now, if you have done any kind of one-on-one -on -one consulting or maybe you are in a nine to five job doing something that still uses a lot of your time and you're getting paid for it, but for me, whenever I was in roles like that and did jobs like that, which I'm gonna explain here in a little bit, some of the things I tried that didn't work, what I found was that I always had a ceiling, like I couldn't just work more hours. And I was frustrated because everything I was trying was leaving me in the same exact spot. So, so in the other videos in this series, I showed you the secret behind how to use your messaging the right way. But now I'm gonna show you what kind of online digital products you can create that can be created quickly, that you can sell those products online. So once they're up, those products can sell for Forever and can continue to create revenue for you. Like that's why they're my favorite kind of products. All right, so let's hop right into this. So before we go into the nitty gritty, I wanna show you how I even discovered this because I told you guys I was a history major. I was a stay at home mom. I was not techie. I'd never done anything online. So back in the day, we were $170,000 in student loan debt. And I had just had my first baby and I was racking my brain trying to think of ways that I could work from home. And I tried all kinds of things for a few years. I tried direct sales, like MLM, kind of network marketing type, type stuff for a while. And I actually loved the company. I did well with them. But for me, I just still had a hard time with things like having to package customers' orders up and set up booths at craft fairs and just do things that still took a ton of my time. Can anybody else relate to this? If you in fact, if you've tried any of these, let me know in the comments if you've tried them too. But if you've tried this, you know, I swear all the storage space in all my closets seem to be full of extra inventory that I always seem to have to buy to hit my sales numbers for the month. And so even though I was making money from home trying this, that really wasn't my favorite thing that I tried. And I ended up getting out of that business altogether about seven years ago. So then I was like, well, okay, that didn't work. Maybe I could babysit other kids from home to bring in some extra income. Has anybody ever tried that one? And honestly, I loved the kids that I spent time with. But if you've tried this, you know, after a while, it just became really hard. I had this teeny little town home that I lived in at the time. I had no extra time for myself. My house was always a wreck at the end of the day. And although I'm super grateful for that income that we had at that time, I wish so badly that I would have known about selling online digital products. It would have been way easier and would have saved me tons of time cleaning up all kinds of messes made by these adorable little humans, mine included. And I even played around with the idea, and this is the one where I was like, oh, Natalie, you should not have tried that, of like making things at home, like crafts and physically selling them online in an Etsy shop or Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. But if you've tried this before, you know, by the time I just quickly realized that that wasn't the route I wanted either. Like by the time I went to Michael's and bought the supplies and spent the time to make the orders and drove to the post office and shipped or hand delivered the products, like it just wasn't worth the amount of profit that I had. In fact, I calculated my hourly wage one time I was like, are you serious? I'm making less than $2 an hour. And that's all I was making because of the amount of time it took to make all these one-on-one -on -one crafts. And so I quickly realized that this just wasn't scalable and I was burned out and frustrated and I needed to figure something else out. And I was just, I was, I was frustrated because I felt like, man, I was honestly trying so hard. And all I kept doing over and over again was just trading my time for money. And so it was kind of during the same time where I was just trying to get back in shape after I had a baby. And I told you in our earlier videos, I had two 10 pound babies. <laughs> Anybody else here in the big baby club? So I was just trying to get back in shape and I stumbled across this website. They were promoting something called a 12 week training program where this was brand new to me. I'd never heard of anything like this before where how it worked is you paid a little bit of money and you got this PDF download of written exercises to do what meals to eat. And at this time, this was not even anywhere on my business rate or working radar. I was just doing this to try to get back in shape. And I did the program and I ended up having really good results, but I was not a trainer or anything. I was just a regular stay at home mom who was enjoying learning how to eat healthy and exercise. And so it was cool that I ended up getting in shape, but what was even cooler 
was this epiphany that I had after I did this program. So we had this private group for everybody doing the trainer. And I started to realize, I was like, wait a sec. I was like, there are thousands of us who have signed up for this program. And I sat there one night and I'm pretty sure it was the same week where I realized I was only making $2 an hour. And I just started looking at all the people who had signed up for this program. It's like, there were over 2,500 people. And I pulled out my calculator. I started doing the math on that. I was like, if each person paid $39 to do this three month trainer, which by the way, was way cheaper than the cost of hiring an in-person personal trainer. I was like 39 times 2,500. I was like, that was almost $100,000. And this was a program that this person only had to create one time and was able to sell it over and over and over. And in fact, that same program that I did way back in 2012 is still being sold today. Obviously, I don't know all the ins and outs of their numbers of this particular program, but you do the math on that, okay? Almost a decade of selling a three month program over and over and over. That's a heck of a lot more money than I ever made babysitting or selling scented wax or making crafts. And I started to think to myself, I thought, what would stop me from doing something like this? And so I started to do some more research and I realized that there were other people who were doing this too. And so I went online, pulled out my credit card and I bought a whole bunch of people's online programs just cause I was just curious about how this whole thing worked. And I learned that these were called online digital products. So it's an online product that somebody would create that oftentimes traditionally used to be physical products, but now could be sold digitally and online. So the number of people they could sell to was almost limitless. Like no longer were you restricted to just selling to the people who physically lived near you. You, you could sell to anybody, like anywhere, deliver anything with a single click of a button or in a single email. I started thinking, if she did this, why couldn't I do this too? And so I learned that there are a few types of online digital products that most people start with. So I'm gonna do a real quick overview in case the phrase online digital products is super unfamiliar for, to you. Like I know for me, I didn't even know what that meant when I first got started. So I'm gonna do a real quick overview. Now there are a lot of different kinds of online digital products, but these are the ones that I found that most people start with and are able to create quickly and inexpensively at the beginning. I started to learn about eBooks. Now eBooks are one type of online digital product and in my opinion, eBooks are the way of the future. So it's kind of like, and I might be aging myself here, but anybody else have one of those big bulky CD cases sitting around in like the trunk of your car or a closet somewhere? I had them, like I was so OCD with mine. I had mine all like alphabetized and categorized and I had the big bulky one. Well, what happened, right? One day Steve Jobs walks up and he shows us how we can turn that big bulky case into a little digital mp3 player and have 3,500 songs in our front pocket because it was digital, okay? A digital product that made it easier for people to consume and access. And I learned about online membership sites and online courses. And what these do is they bring people together in a community and help them in a way that never was possible before the online world. So it's kind of like, let's say you're a local chef and have you guys ever gone on Groupon and seen like local cooking classes and thought to yourself, oh, that maybe is a fun date night idea or something. And so you get a babysitter and drive to town and like for me I'm an introvert so like I feel like oh, I have to awkwardly chit chat with everybody you know and that is how that product used to be delivered in person one-on-one -on -one or one to maybe a small group well if that same chef had learned about online membership sites or courses that chef could take the exact same stuff that they're teaching in person put it into an online membership site or course and reach so many more people than they ever could have doing it in person so instead of one-to-one -one, it's one to many and now the people who would have bought the group on or the cooking lessons from the chef can do it on their own time and terms and pay for that service and get it delivered and access it online. And I learned about online paid challenges. Now online paid challenges are awesome. You see a lot of them in the fitness space, but we have had so many people, thousands and thousands of people do online challenges. So these are the newest way to help people achieve a goal and build a tribe of raving fans for you as a creator. So it's kind of like a support group that people pay to be a part of that can help them achieve something that they might have struggled to do on their own. And I realized, I was like, oh my gosh, this is the thing. This is gonna be the thing that no longer I have to trade my time for money anymore. Does that make sense? Like just like MP3 players killed the CD industry, just like Hulu and Netflix killed Blockbuster, digital products are the way of the future. I seriously, truly, truly believe that. And I started to realize, I was like, oh my gosh, this is gonna give me the time freedom that I had always wanted and craved. I could create something one time and it could sell online forever. And I could really, truly help people, more people than I ever could do it trying to do something one-on-one -on -one. okay you might be listening right now thinking well yeah Natalie that sounds awesome like I want to do this but I don't know what I would create or I don't feel like I'm an expert okay if you're thinking that that's okay I just want to validate you for a moment and that's what most people
people are worried about when they first hear this. So I want you to remember the question I asked you at the very beginning of this video series. I want you to think about your number one hobby, okay? Something that might seem simple to you, but that you love doing, or maybe it's an experience that you've gone through in your own personal journey, okay? Think about that. You don't have to necessarily feel like you're an expert. Remember what we just talked about in the previous video. You just need to be two steps ahead of somebody else struggling like you were when you were in their shoes and help them through it. And you use your stories to connect with them and so that you can help them. And so I'm gonna show you a couple cool examples of people who were in your guys' shoes not that long ago who have done this. I talked this to them and they've been able to build their own wildly successful online businesses. Okay, so this is Maria's story and I love this one so much. So Maria was on a class very similar to this video series that I was teaching and she had an aha moment. She realized that she had struggled with body image for a really long time, but she had worked through it and figured out a process for working through it, but she didn't want her daughters or anybody else to have to go through that struggle like she did. And so Maria followed this process and she started with one online digital product, an ebook, and then she realized once she helped somebody with one thing, there were all these other things that she could help them with too. So she kept going and she created an online course, a digital workbook, she has a bundle package, she has group coaching, a children's book, she's even moved on to swag and she has all these different products that are different revenue streams for her that because they're online and digital she doesn't have to worry about inventory to physically ship she doesn't have to go to the post office and stand in line she's got four little well they're not little anymore but she's got four kids and it takes a little bit of time at the beginning to create but because it's online it is extremely scalable and doesn't continue to take her time for money anymore on these products Maria didn't have to go back to school and spend a bunch of money to become an expert she just looked at her own experiences and asked herself how she could help somebody who might be two steps behind where she is right now and she's helped thousands and thousands of women in this process and oh, I get goosebumps thinking about it sometimes because I always say if you are able to help a mother and a family you're not only helping that one person you're helping that entire family and possibly even generations of families to come and that you guys is secret number two okay it's about taking your own interests, the experiences that you've been through in your life and turning that into an online digital product that can be created quickly and inexpensively and you can sell it online so you only have to create it once and it can sell forever so you don't have to keep sacrificing your time for money anymore and the bottom line you guys the digital product industry right now is on track to hit over 400 billion with a B billion dollars and it's growing even faster now that more people are used to being and buying things online but if you want to differentiate yourself from everybody else out there you have to learn to connect with people in a genuine and authentic way if you really want to get a piece of that market how many of you guys like that I hope you do let me know in the comments below in fact if you've taken anything away from this video series so far if you could give something back to me I'd love to hear what your biggest takeaway was from this video and this part of the video series it's so fun for me to go back and read all your guys's comments and see what is clicking for you guys I hope you guys really like that because when you actually do this it works really 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 well so what we're gonna do guys is I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and we're gonna move on in the next video we're gonna be talking about you might be thinking like okay Natalie you're convincing me I think I can do this I can see like okay maybe I could create these digital products but how am I gonna sell this? Like, what am I gonna do? I have no social media following. If you're worried about that, I got you covered. We're gonna go over that in the next video and it's like my ninja hack that works so well when you do it the right way. Hope to see you there.